I'm Fred Allendale, creator of Subscriber Kiosk. Uh, this tutorial will talk about the configuration note card and go over some of the object uh, details in the configuration note card that lets you customize your kiosk for your particular uh, operations. Uh, I won't spend a lot of time discussing these in the tutorial since they're fairly well explained in the comment lines and in the uh, manual uh, available uh, from my website or from the instruction note card that <coughs> comes with the kiosk. Uh, but the general format of this uh, note card is any line that begins with two slashes is a comment line. It'll generally explain what the purpose of this parameter is. Uh, for example, the admin list is a list of the names of authorized administrators. Uh, and this is available on the standard and pro models, uh, but not on the light and basic models. Uh, and then any other uh, information you need. The actual line uh, where the parameter is without the uh, uh, slashes uh, are the uh, where you'd want to actually add your list of individual names. Um, for your administrators. Uh, the uh, next parameter is hover text on or off, which you can set the green hover text in, in uh, the kiosk to be uh, uh, not visible so it doesn't conflict with your decor. Sound volume controls the volume of the um, sounds that uh, are played when somebody subscribes or unsubscribes, unless, of course, you've deleted the sound files. Ban list lets you uh, have a list of people you ban. And by the way, as you're entering parameters on here, you don't want to leave any spaces after the equal sign. You just start in the very next, uh, very next spot. And if you have a list of names, like in the case of admin list, uh, you would separate them by uh, with commas. Uh, the uh, and then the uh, associate with the ban list is a message that you would want to send to somebody when they try and subscribe or unsubscribe if they're on the ban list. Uh, the sysbox links the master kiosk to an accessory that's sold separately uh, called a sysbox uh, sys or storage send item storage box, uh, and it basically when you send something from the kiosk. That item, when it's done sending, goes into the sysbox, and it's a place where people can come back to your kiosk uh, and get items that were previously sent uh, if they're members of the uh, of your group. Um, the uh, the sub unsub im address parameter uh, lets you specify if you want to have an im sent to you anytime someone subscribes or unsubscribes. Uh, the sub unsub em address is uh, a similar function, but it will send you an email of the transaction log. Uh, in this case, uh, rather than uh, if you set it to, uh, it, it looks at the next parameter, this sub unsub em max, to decide when to send you a list of subscribers. So if it's set to zero, it'll report each new transaction uh, individually to you in a separate email. If you set it to a very large number, say all nines, it will only report when the maximum email size is reached, which is probably about 20 or 30 uh, subscribers that will fit into a single email. Uh, if you set it to some other number, then it will, uh, at, a, at, at whatever number of hours you specify, it will send you a, a, a list of what the transactions were since the last email it sent you. Uh, or if uh, there are so many transactions that it fills up before that time, then it will, uh, it will send you the email separately. And this, th these two parameters are then useful to set up incremental backups where between your full backups you will get emails of, of groups of transactions and you could in in theory reconstruct uh, your total list by adding those uh, report email reports uh, the contents of them to a note card uh, and supplementing your latest full backup auto update check lets you specify a time interval where it can check with my server automatically for updates. Uh, I recommend probably uh, no more than uh, once a week or so, maybe once a month checking on that. Uh, saves you from doing the manual check. Uh, the input channel, uh, there are some functions that require input in chat. 
Uh, if you want to keep it private, it defaults to channel zero, which is open chat, like, for example, the edit list to edit the name. If you want to keep that private, you can specify a particular channel number uh, for your manual inputs. Uh, the send rate uh, value defaults to two. Probably want to leave it there. Uh, this there is a new throttle in Second Life uh, that uh, is uh, limits the rate at which you can send inventory items. Uh, this keeps you well under that limit. It could be set as high as 10 if you have a small number, say less than 2,000 uh, subscribers in your list, you can send much faster up to about 10 per second. But if you have more than about 2,000 subscribers, you're going to get clobbered by the throttle. So you want to typically set that to 2 uh, or leave it blank uh, and it will default to 2. Um, there are four more parameters that follow this that have to do with setting up textures. So in our tutorials, we've just showed you that we manually applied textures, uh, and that's fine. But it, you can also uh, have t separate textures for when the uh, kiosk is online or offline, or whether remote is offline or online. And this will also push the textures out to your remotes. So if you want to change your ad texture on all your remotes at the same time, you can change these UUIDs or keys to the texture that you want to send, uh, that you want to display, and it will show on your remotes uh, after a few minutes. Um, and then the uh, next parameter also relates to those textures because you have to tell it what faces of your uh, kiosk to apply it to. If you leave these lines commented out, then it won't apply any textures or won't push any textures. Uh, but if you have it uh, specified in terms of the faces to apply it to, then uh, it will push those textures that you have specified here out to your uh, remote and apply it to your master kiosk as well. Uh, and there is a separate utility script that I provide that uh, describes what the texture uh, faces, uh, face numbers are. So you can drop that script in there and touch a particular face of your kiosk. Uh, in the case of the default kiosk that I send, uh, those are the, uh, the face numbers uh, that uh, things are applied to. It's actually the face number and the link number. Uh, but if you've customized your own kiosk design, you may have to put different numbers in here if the faces are different. And so that script lets you determine what numerical face uh, values are. Um, archive controller is used to specify a link to another uh, item that I have, which is a archive controller for linking multiple masters together and sending uh, uh, items out. Uh, to an unlimited uh, list, since masters are limited to 10,000 subscribers. Uh, this archive controller will uh, link multiple masters together. Uh, the next four parameters relate to a built-in sensor function. Uh, you can, if there's, these are all blank, the sensors are disabled, but if you enable and specify the sensor rate, the range, uh, the dialog you want to display when, uh, when somebody's detected uh, in a pop-up box, and uh, uh, where you want the list of the 75 most recent visitors sent. Uh, and uh, this will pop up when automatically detect people who are within your specified range and prompt them to uh, subscribe to your kiosk uh, as opposed to them having to actually find the kiosk and subscribe. Um, so they're given the option automatically. Uh, and uh, this API owners is a, a special command that is used uh, in uh, the application programming interface. If you have a third party device uh, that you want to talk to the uh, kiosk and you want to do your own scripting for it, you can use the application interface uh, to the kiosk and that's where this parameter comes in handy. Uh, one hint to remember, uh, sometimes when you uh, drop new items into the kiosk, you'll get a kiosk busy. 
uh, reply as it's rereading the note card parameters. Uh, you can minimize that time by once you get your note cards configured, you can delete all the blank lines and delete all the comment lines off of here. It makes it a much shorter note card and it will read much faster. That's a quick overview of the uh, config note card options. Uh, the details are all available and uh, described much more fully in the uh, instruction manuals and instruction note cards. And thanks again for purchasing Subscriber Kiosk.